Wow, there, there isn't a spot on this that isn't just gorgeous. Nice job, KBS. This is, um, this is the new KBS prototype, and they were gracious enough to give me a pint to let me try out. It's still in beta testing. Um, their claim is that it has fewer microbubbles, no issues around the eyes with formation, and so far it is true to its tail. No pun intended. Yeah, these are mice, but it looks really, really good. Um, takes a little bit less time to set up. And I've tried, like, I try to keep this around 72 degrees out here in the shop. Uh, I've been, whoa, good save. I've been um, keeping it around 65 and actually less at night because I'm just, I'm not out here. And it seems to really enjoy the cooler temperatures. So we're going to keep on trying this and I'm going to keep you guys posted. So this is a gift from Daniel. Thank you so much. I uh, got a five pack of tester lures from him. And this is one of them. This is the 90 top water and uh, it's light. It is lightweight compared to the river to sea, uh, but the components seem to be in order. We are definitely going to give this a test see how it swims. I've got another one painted up that I'm going to go take swimming this weekend just to kind of get an idea of how it behaves in the water. They have gotten better about making these. Um, I generally have stayed away from the river to sea KOs only because they just they didn't swim right. They didn't swim as well but these are new. Again super lightweight comparatively to what the river to sea puts out. Um, maybe we should do, I don't know if I have, to be honest, I, what is the 90, like a three quarter ounce, I think I'll have to look that up. Um, I have a 75 and I have a 110, but this is the 90. So I'll have to look up, see what the weight is on tackle warehouse. And then I'll do a comparison with what this, this little guy weighs. So I think that's probably one of the best ways to kind of break the ice on this, but this is like in a, I want to call it crunch berry. Cause it reminds me of captain crunch. Cause it's just so wild looking. Um, but it's in a like a fur, like a mouse pattern for top water, real bright, festive. Um, I know that these patterns, Compass Angler has been crushing bass on in the spring and pretty much all through the year. If you follow Compass Angler on Instagram, you can see some of my, my river to sea stuff that I've done for him over there. But yeah, I like the pattern. Um, the eyes, it's just a... It's a, it's a, just a trick. It's like a smoke and mirrors kind of a trick. So it's a drop of fluorescent red paint on a chrome eye. Um, this one up here. And a lot of times if you put a drop of paint on a silver eye, it kind of gives a false sense of depth to it because it has that mirrored reflection. So that's all this is. This is the drop of paint. Neat trick. Um, looks completely different than other stuff that's out there. So now you guys, I'm sure we'll all be doing it. And maybe some of you have done it before. Um, I thought that I'm like being clever and came up with it, but I probably didn't come up with it. Um, but it is cool. I do like using it, but there you have it. It's a little 90 top water with a little chopper on the back. Ta-da! We've got a couple, this is the Poseidon. And I'm just goofing around with new patterns for the upcoming 2020 season. And again, all this stuff is coated with the KBS prototype, the super duper diamond strength. Now it's just the new stuff that they're formulating. Um, and I got a hold of some on the house as it were. Thank you, KBS. So we're trying that out and I really like it. I really like it. And if it's consistent, if I get through this entire can, um, I got a pint to goof around with. So I'm gonna, burn up the whole can on these baits and uh, I'll let a few of them sit around the shop and I'll, you know, put them in a box in the car, different temperatures, let them heat up during the day, let them get cool at night. And uh, just, I really want to test the, the crap out of that. And that's what, that's what they want me to do. So that's what we're going to do. But this is the Poseidon. This has got those new uh, Jetson lure eyes on there. Man, these things are sharp. John, I love them absolutely love 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 these eyes 
So go check him out. He's, um, well, he's kind of hidden underneath my paper today. I got, oh man, I get posts from China. I get posts from overseas. And um, they did not put my address, like the numbers, the numbers from the address. They put the drive and the road and the city and the state and U.S. and all that, but there's no, so like three of my packages in the last week have gone back to the post office and they were on their way back to China. And I'm like, no. So um, hopefully I can recover them. And I'm not sure if it's their error or mine. I usually put my address on there in full. I'm so used to doing it. Could have been my mistake, um, but it has been corrected. So going through that, that's a pain. But anyways, especially around the holidays because things get delayed. And then the, there's these. And it's, this, is, this is the yellow eyes, but that black dot, it's very similar to what I put on the... Um, on this guy down here, but it throws a shadow and it throws a really neat shadow. If you guys, I, ho I hope the camera's picking up on that. I can see it through the lens here, but it really, it's a very cool sense of depth. This is a bright yellow eye. There is no green in here whatsoever, but black and yellow sometimes give off a green shadow or give a green tint to things. I don't know if you guys have ever played around with, um, dropping a couple of drops of black into a, a yellow it does do that it tends it green i don't know why i don't i'm not a physicist scientist i'm i don't know i just don't know folks no idea but that's what it does but this is spoken for and then i did the same thing with a red it's just something different i like to I like to come up with new ways to make something look fresh so that's the whole end game here, is to be creative and original as best we can. So I almost wrapped this video up without showing you guys this stuff. I forgot that this had been clear-coated long enough I could show it to you. Uh, I put it on Facebook real quick. But this is the Rastacraw. And these are on brand names, of course. nice deep diver and then I have it again in this DT10 and ta-da it's a Rapala there you can see it in the there we go that shows it pretty well Rapala this is the DT10 really good crawl pattern and this is a, a JDM design. This is the uh, the Raid lipless. And I cut some grooves out for the gills. And a shiny trout. Now these Raids come in... Um, they come in crankbaits with a short coffin bill lip, and they also come in lipless. So that is pretty much it. That's these two. This one you've seen. Ah, uh, and young squirt. This is like a man's baby one minus almost, or even more similar. It's like a, a DT100 and a .5. This is a very small. You get out the, uh, the law stick. Put it up you're looking at uh nose to tip about an inch and a half two inches with the bill uh it weighs a quarter of an ounce and it flutters down to about three feet comfortably when you're trolling it on super light line so two to four pound test this is probably meant for pan fish and trout but shallow water you never know what's going to hit on it in the winter time that's, I'm going to be doing some river fishing, some testing on this pattern. I'm not selling these guys yet. Um, just want to see how they swim. And I always do that when I have blanks that get sent to me. I always have uh, time to test them out before I put them out in population. I figure that's always the best way to do it so you guys aren't buying junk. Because I don't want to sell you junk. And that's it. All right. As you were. Back to what you were doing. See ya.